When you have a fraction, the top number is called the yeah. numerator. And the bottom number is the denominator. And it's separated by that thing we call the fraction bar, fraction line, whatever you want to call it. And one thing to re remember is the denominator cuts into equal pieces. Equal pieces. And the top number is kind of how many of those pieces you have. How many you have. And here is going to be the example, and please, please, please follow the teacher's rules specifically. How much is one half of 450? How much is one half of 450? When you're asked a problem like this, what I very much need for you to do is to make a fraction box. I know some of you probably don't need to do this, but you most of you do. And that means this. When you're given this problem here, you are just, well, uh, it's actually a fraction or rectangle. You're going to draw a rectangle that stands for whatever you have. I have 450, and it doesn't matter what it is. It could be grapes. Could be pencils, could be chairs. So I write my little rectangle, I'll put my 450 up there. The fraction I'm looking for is one half of that 450. And since the bottom number tells you how many equal pieces you cut that into, you're just going to do that. You're going to cut 450 into two pieces. Now, what is 450 cut into two pieces? You may have to do that division over here. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. It is two. I subtract in there. Two, five. So each piece is 225. And remember, the top number tells you how many of those pieces you have. You have just one of them. So half of 450 is just 225. Does that sound like a relatively doable sort of thing there? Um, because then, let's say you ask this, what is, what is three-fifths of 100? Given that problem, you would draw your fraction box. Please don't draw a circle. Circles are just so hard to cut into pieces. It's to get nice. What does this big old box stand for? It stands for 100. It's your total. I am looking for the fraction 3 fifths. So this bottom number tells me how many equal pieces if I divide 100 by 5. Does anybody know that right off the bat, Victoria? 20. 20. So I have 5 equal pieces of 20. And then the top number says, of those 5, how many I get to keep? 20, 40, 60 is 3 fifths of 100. Cut into 5 pieces. You have to get that. Other things they'll ask you to do is, well, and sometimes they'll give you things like this, but this I think is pretty simple. They'll give you a rectangle, they'll cut it into boxes. And then they'll shade some of those boxes. And they'll ask you what fraction is shaded. What goes on the bottom of my fraction? How many equal pieces did I cut that into? Eight. I want to know what fraction is shaded. So how many are shaded? One, two, three. And shabam, three eighths is the number. Question? Uh, no, I just got it. You did got it. Please, please be careful, ladies and gentlemen. 
One little thing that I see pretty frequently is this. The book will shade this, and they'll shade this, and they'll shade this, and they'll ask you for what fraction is not shaded. So please make sure you're paying attention because they, people see this and they automatically assume that the book's going to ask them for three-fourths because that's what's shaded, but the book says not shaded, so that is actually one-fourth is not shaded. Just a helpful little hint to all involved.